Animal Farm. The setting is Manor Farm. All the animals on the farm are gathered by Old Major, a prize-winning boar. At this meeting, Old Major lays out his dream plan for a farm in which there are no humans who oppress or control them. He then teaches all the animals the song Beasts of England that describes his dream. All the animals are excited and ready for the plan. However, Old Major dies three days later. Three younger pigs, Snowball, Napoleon, and Squealer, decide to continue on Old Major's plan with the rest of the animals. Later, the animals manage to defeat the farmer, Mr. Jones, in a fierce battle, and he leaves the farm. They rename the farm Animal Farm and continue Old Major's lifelong dream. Boxer, a cart horse, commits to the goal with his personal motto, I will work harder. The animal farm prospers. Snowball teaches people to read, and Napoleon educates young puppies on their core values. But soon, Mr. Jones returns to take back control. It becomes known as the Battle of Cowshed, and the animals come out victorious once again. As the days pass, there becomes a growing struggle for power in the farm between Snowball and Napoleon. It all comes to a boiling point when they are voting on a new windmill for the farm and the two are on opposite sides. At the meeting to discuss the issue, Napoleon calls a group of dogs, the former puppies he educated, to attack Snowball and run him off the farm. Napoleon then assumes leadership of the farm and declares no more meetings or votes and that the pigs will decide everything for the good of the animals. In his first act as leader, he changes his opposition to the windmill and has the animals build one. Later, the windmill topples and the local farmers blame it on being poorly built. Napoleon disagrees and instead blames Snowball for destroying it despite no evidence. He then starts a campaign to purge any animal who has aided Snowball, but in reality, he only purges animals who contest his leadership. Now feared by the farm, Napoleon begins to make Snowball the villain. At the same time, Napoleon has abandoned the principles of the animal farm and begun sleeping in a bed, drinking whiskey, and trading with humans. During this time, Squealer has become Napoleon's propagandist and convinces the other animals he is a good leader, even though the others are cold, hungry, and tired. Later, a fight breaks out with neighboring farmer Mr. Frederick, who stole timber and dynamited the windmill they had rebuilt. This leads to a major battle between the farms that the animal farm narrowly wins. During the battle, Boxer suffered major wounds. Squealer tells the animals that Boxer had died peacefully and defended Napoleon till his last breath. In reality, Napoleon sold Boxer, his most loyal animal, to a glue factory for money to buy whiskey. After a number of years, the pigs begin to become more human-like, walking upright, carrying whips, and wearing clothes. The original seven commandments of the animal farm have now been reduced to just one. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Napoleon has partnered with neighboring farmer Mr. Pilkington to fight against the laboring class of animals. He then returns the farm's name to Manor Farm. The book ends with the animals looking inside the farmhouse, unable to differ between the humans and the pigs.